Skid Waste Systems calibration setup procedures are very simple and consist of a few steps to complete the automatic calibration of the empty forks and the known load weight being lifted just above the ground. At any point, if you make a mistake for whatever reason, turn the power to the skidway off and start all over. All calibration values will be automatically stored after the calibration setup procedure is finished. Before starting the calibration, you must have a known load weight ready. For the best results, you should have a known weight load of at least 30% to 50% of that particular lift truck's lifting capacity. For example, for a 3,000 pound lifting capacity, you should use a known weight of at least 1,500 pounds. If you want the system to show the load weight in pounds, use the known load weight in pounds. The same would apply if you want the weight display to show in kilograms. The standard ED2 series skidway consists of a digital indicator with a wiring harness, a mounting bracket, pressure transducer with a three-wire cable, installation instruction manual, and a DVD installation video. The digital indicator can be installed on the vehicle's dashboard or on the side railing of the forklift. Use the enclosed mounting bracket and fasten the indicator for optimum operator view. The pressure transducer must be installed in the hydraulic line between the lift control valve and the lift cylinder. The pressure transducer body itself has a male port, G1 quarter, sealed at the back of a DIN 3852 slash E and additional 1 quarter inch 18 NPT adapter. The majority of pressure transducer installations in the vehicle lifting hydraulic system require some kind of T-piece. In addition to the T-piece installation method, the pressure transducer can be installed in the flow divider, either in the spare plug for connection of the hydraulic hoses, or by drilling and tapping for 1 quarter inch 18 NPT in the flow divider body, or at any larger elbow in the lifting hydraulic line. Make sure that the installed pressure transducer does not touch any moving component of the vehicle while in the operating mode. Connect the three-wire cable, red, white, and black, from the digital indicator to the three-wire cable of the pressure transducer. Connect the two-wire power cable as follows. The black wire to the vehicle battery negative or vehicle frame on combustion engine-powered vehicles, the red wire to the vehicle ignition switch on position. When the electrical connections are complete, turn the ignition switch on. On the right side of the display, you will momentarily see a software version number. For example, in this case, 85. And the display will automatically switch to number 8 on the left side of the display, providing there is no load on the forks. If a wrong connection is made to the pressure transducer's wiring harness, the display will show multiple flashing 9s across the display. If this happens, you must correct the error and start again. There are only two buttons used to calibrate and set up the system, and these are M and arrow up. In the example on the video, we have a known calibration weight for a cement block of 895 kilograms. Lower the empty forks to the ground, turn the ignition switch on. The right side of the display shows the software version 85. This number will vary depending on the software version. While the number 8 is shown on the left side of the display in the mode window, use a paper clip inserted into the small hole to the right side of the letter M on the right side of the display. Press down and hold for 5 seconds to enter the calibration mode. The mode digit number on the left side of the display will change from 8 to 0. This mode is used to calibrate the empty forks lifted off the ground. 
If the forklift has any type of attachment, lift the attachment above the ground to get the zero reading. Activate the lift control valve and lift the empty forks a few inches just above the ground. The system will automatically calibrate the empty forks and in a few seconds the mode number zero will change to one. The right side of the display will show zero or any other previously calibrated digit. The calibration of the empty forks has been completed. The digit one in the mode window represents the last digit of the known calibration weight. In our case, the known calibration weight is 895, therefore the last digit is number 5. Use the paper clip and keep pressing the arrow up button until the number 5 is displayed. Once the number 5 is entered, you must now press the M button to advance to the second digit, in this case number 9. Once the 9 is entered, you must now press the M button to get to the third number so that we can enter the number 8, which is the first number of the known weight of 895. Again, using the paper clip, press the arrow up button until the number 8 is displayed. Because our known weight of 895 is only three digits, the remaining two digits must remain at zero. You must ensure that the remaining digits clearly show zeros. If the forklift had previously been calibrated with a four or five digit number, you must use the paper clip and the method above to return these digits to zero. As you can see, we have entered a valid calibration of 895, in this case kilograms. The display shows a number five in the mode window and the rest of the display shows 00895. Before you go to mode six, make sure that your known weight is loaded on the forks and the forks are lowered to the ground in our case 895 kilograms. At this point there should be no hydraulic pressure in the lifting circuit. When the loaded forks are at ground level, press the M button to get to mode 6. The display must show 6 in the mode window before proceeding with the calibration. Activate the lift control and lift the loaded forks a few inches just above the ground. The weighing display will go blank and the number 6 in the mode window will disappear. The system will automatically calibrate the known weight. Do not move the vehicle or adjust the tilt or attempt to lift the load slowly. Lift the load as you normally would during normal operation. After a few seconds, the display will show the value of the calibrated load weight. In our case, 895 kilograms. The calibration has been completed. All calibration parameters will be saved in the system's memory for a period of more than 25 years. Once the load is lowered to the ground, the number 8 will automatically appear in the mode window on the left side of the display, which is the starting point for any future weighing. On the video, you will notice that the system shows 7 in the display instead of number 8, and that is because this particular version has an overload warning input. The ED2-SM series, or other models with overload warning features, will allow the end user to enter whatever overload warning value is required for that particular operation. Once the preset overload value is entered into the system, whenever that value has been reached, the indicator display will flash. To enter the overload warning value, you must lower the loaded forks to the ground, and when the number is 7 appears in the mode window automatically, you can enter the overload warning value by simply using the M button and arrow up button to enter a preset value as required. The calibration remains the same until mode 6 as in the previous example. For example, we have entered 955 kilograms as our overload warning value. To stop the overload warning indicator from flashing during the normal operation, lower the forks to the ground. Insert the forks into the pallet or under the product to be weighed. Lower the forks to the ground. The number 8 in the mode display window must be shown before you can initiate a weighing cycle. If any other number is shown, lower the forks to the ground and start again. When the number 8 is shown in the mode display, the system is ready to weigh the product on the forks. Activate the lift control lever quickly and lift the load just above the ground. Do not attempt to tilt the load or move the vehicle or lift the load higher than just above the ground a few inches. As soon as the load has been lifted, the digital display will go blank for a moment and the load weight value of the product lifted will be displayed. 
This product load weight will be shown on the indicator until the next time the forks are lowered to the ground. As you can see in the video, the skidway display shows 895.